Hey everybody, we're back again building some nonsense. Today we are building a new style CO2 reactor. A bunch of weird stuff has gone into building this. As you can see here, I had to take a two inch cap, which was a flat cap, I drilled it out and I put in a bulkhead, put a bulkhead right in here. And then I put a three quarter inch 90 street elbow onto it. That'll make sense later down the line. I've got all my parts here. Uh, I got my CO2 inlet. We got to tape a few things. Well, let's just go ahead and put this thing together real quick like because it's time to do that. Where's this thing going to go when we get there? This thing is going to go onto the sump. And that's the reason why I'm building it this way. So I'll do my best to explain all the parts to you. I've run out of thread tape. That's fine. I'm not mad. I'm not mad of running out of thread tape. That's just life, right? So this little CO2 inlet is a push to fit that we're able to run the quarter inch tubing into. Um, I wanted to maintain the three quarter inch hole for a project later down the line. So that's why I am uh, actually taking it from a half inch up. Not necessary for you to do it this way. You could have just gotten yourself a two inch by half inch, threaded that thing in there. Yeah. You could have done it that way if you wanted to. The only advantage for this is for a later application, as I mentioned. So hopefully that clears up some of the mystery here. People get mad when I use channel locks, but they are handy. I could get some nicer looking ones. These ones are good and rusty, so I like to use those ones a lot. All right, there's that piece, there's this piece. This is the clear down tube. So this is what's going to lift up and head up into the tank. And I had to make it a little bit longer. As you can see, got some weld on multi-purpose, the rusty top, and there's a jet flying over above. So there goes, you know, hundreds of thousands of uh, taxpayer dollars flying around. All right, we're using multi-purpose. Doesn't matter that the top is rusty as long as the material on the inside is still good we're fine and you will notice that I am not using any prep on the pipe the reason for that this is not um, you know this isn't a pressure application so we don't need to do all those extra steps this is we're mainly just gluing it together and if this ever falls apart from putting it together this way uh, I will be long dead by the time that comes around we'll all be long dead it's not it's not a matter of my own mortality it's that we will all no longer be around I'm gonna put my gloves on because it's cold out here. All right. So the base that we're starting out with today is actually a three or four inch closet flange for a toilet with the breakout still in it. We're not gonna take that out. We're actually just gonna leave it in there. There's no reason to knock that out because if we do, then all the water will fall out of it. So we don't want that. We want to leave that in there. I'm just using it as a flat base. Um, it has the screw holes on it. So all comes in handy. I realized that I wasn't as generous as I normally am with my glue. So if you're gluing this black ABS together, you can use multi-purpose like I am um, or you can use 
black ABS cement. Either way is fine. We'll both melt it and create a seal. So don't worry. You know, gluing, plumbing and stuff together, we're essentially melting and adhering the pipe together, creating a molecular bond. So that's basically what we're doing. It's all chemically driven. So you do want to be careful with this stuff. Make sure you're in a ventilated area and not just in your bedroom or something weird. Otherwise you'll end up looking like me. That's a problem. That's a paddling. So this port down here, you'll notice that we have it going up in the upward direction. A little bit of a swoop to it there. We want that because that's this is where the CO2 is getting fed into the reactor itself. So we want to think we're utilizing gravity. When we put the CO2 comes in here, it's going to go up. And that's what we want. Nope. Got some drips, but don't worry. I got an old t-shirt here. If you're like me, you have old work shirts to wipe this stuff up with. I don't know why people buy bags of rags. But if you do, make sure you buy the old t-shirt ones. They're my favorite. Definitely being a lot messier than I normally am because I'm trying to film this. Always try to put stuff in and then turn it so that we end up with a good seal. And it gives me a chance to make sure that this is completely tight. I kind of like that. It's just as ugly as possible, right? Right. Make sure that's not walking out or anything what will end up happening is essentially through the chemical reaction it'll end up pushing itself out of the hole so you always want to check while it's curing um, push it back in you know people often say like 30 seconds but I've oftentimes found 30 seconds to be kind of overkill but here's the really fun part this is the tube it's going to go all the way down in like that so that the uptake is going to be from the bottom and that's our plan but i want to test fit this again real quick because it's looking like it's longer now oh, i think we're still good okay because yeah all right i did have to modify this uptake tube a little bit as you can see i've got a portion that's gray and a portion that is uh, clear and the clear is just to make sure that I don't have a ton of co2 just getting lifted back up into the pipe so it's not necessary to even make this thing out of any clear parts uh, you wouldn't have to uh, but I definitely like to have them made out of 
clear parts so that I can see what's going on. There's a weird thing I got going on. There's a weird dog hair on there or something. What is that? But we don't necessarily need the clear parts on this thing. It's just uh, much more convenient for me to be able to use it on a regular basis. So we just want to make sure we don't get a bunch of the glue. And then remember what direction that this has to go. So this comes from the tank. So this has to face this, like that. Look how much glue I got on the inside, dripping down. Oops, it's a bit much, but I don't want to screw this up because it costs a lot more than the regular, you know, ABS pipe and stuff. Clear stuff costs a lot. So I guess a little extra glue will ruin it for the aesthetics. But there we go. New CO2 reactor built. No time flat, right? Pretty good, huh?